my name is Barry Moldenhauer. I'm a product support specialist with 360 Yield Center. Today I'm going to walk you through the basics of a 60 foot wide drop system on a Hagee STS-16 with aluminum booms. First thing you want to do is establish the center of the machine and find out where all your drops are going to go. Um, I found the center of the machine is this nozzle here. So I'm going to measure 30 inches from this nozzle to this nozzle. 30 inches from this nozzle to this nozzle. And so on the rest of the boom. If your machine has 15 inch nozzle spacing, your wide drops will go on every other row. Now we're moving to the primary boom where you're going to measure for our extension tubes. We're going to measure from the, pit, the pivot on the boom, we're going to measure 30 inches, 88 inches, 148 inches, 208 inches, and 280 inches. And these measurements are all plus or minus 5 inches. Moving on with the primary boom, we're going to start our 30 inch mark from our pin. We're going to mount our first OEM boom bracket. these a little loose until we have our extension tubes in them. We can go ahead and put our stainless steel stop bolts inside. We can slide in our extension tube. We can put in our stop bolt in the back of the extension tube. Then we can slide on our boom bracket for our wide drop boom. And install our stop bolt in the front of the extension tube. We'll do this for our 88 inch mark also. Then we can tighten everything down. Continue this down the boom on the rest of your extension boom marks. We're going to keep going on the primary boom. We're going to skip forward a little bit here. Um, we're going to start putting our five foot boom sections together with our eight inch boom connectors. We have our connector in, snug it up. We would repeat this, do all of our boom sections for the primary boom. And we're going to take this and set it up on top of our, our wide drop boom bracket mounts. Now we're ready to mount our five foot boom extensions to our wide drop boom bracket. We'll take our U-bolt, slide down over the top. Our 5 sixteenths extra thick washer. Remember on our five foot boom extensions, you only need enough sticking pass to catch your first drop. Also, when you're mounting your five foot boom extension, you can, if you're using a standard riser mount, you would want your, your bolts on your boom connector facing out 
And if you're going to use a 360 breakaway, you would want your bolts up and down so you can mount your breakaway to the face. Now we're ready to tighten up our U-bolts on our five foot boom extension. Also tighten up our stop bolt in the side of our wide drop bracket. So you would carry these boom, these five foot boom sections, the rest of the way of your primary boom. If you're going wider than a 60 foot system, please reference the Hagee wide mount kit. Okay, we're gonna keep going on the primary boom. Um, we're gonna go on our first drop on our a five foot boom extension. I'm gonna show you how to mount a standard riser mount. Just take our U-bolt, come over the top. Our washer and our nut. line this up with our drop. That's our standard riser mount. Now we're going to go to our next drop location. I'm going to show you how to install the 360 one piece breakaway. Line it up with your drop. Tighten it up. That's how you install a 360 breakaway one piece mount. The biggest difference between the 360 breakaway and this standard one piece mount is the U-bolts go down, the nuts are on the bottom on the standard mount and on the breakaway the U-bolt goes through the face towards the back on the five foot boom extension. Now that we've finished our install of the primary boom, we're going to move to the center section and start with uh, the install of the 39 inch extension tubes. We're going to start, we're going to go ahead and put our OEM boom bracket we're going to mount it to our bottom plate for our center section before we get started. We just take our short bolts, put them through the bracket. Do that on the front and the back. This makes it a little easier when you're holding the bracket up by yourself. You're going to take your 8 inch top plate with your 7.5 inch bolts. You're going to go ahead and slide that over the boom. 
You want to take your bottom bracket, slide it up to your bolt. Now we're going to take our extension tube, slide it through our brackets, put in our stop bolt in the back. We're going to tighten up our OEM boom brackets. We're going to slide on our wide drop boom bracket. Put our stop bolt in the front of our extension tube. Tighten those up. Tighten up our stop bolts on the side. Once you have your 39 inch extension tube mounted on the one side, repeat for the other side. Then we'll be ready for our five foot boom extensions. They send an extra five foot boom extension you will need to cut a 12 inch piece out of to complete the center section. So we'll just use our eight inch connecting pieces for our boom extensions. Tighten those up. Then you're ready to install onto the extension tubes. Put our U-bolts through our boom extension, just like we did on the primary booms. Slide your U-bolts through. Put your washers and nuts on. Tighten them up and repeat it on the other side. The next step on the center section of this Hagee STS-16 are the yoke straps. You start at the top bar of the center of the boom, put your bracket on with your U-bolt, make sure you're in between your drops on your wide drop boom, run your yoke straps down to the length you need to your bracket on the bottom on your wide drop boom, and tighten up your U-bolts down here on the wide drop boom and put in your clips. Do that for both sides and that should complete your yoke strap installation. First thing you're going to want to do is take your undercover. Just going to slide it onto the rubber tube. Position it somewhere close to where you want it. Next you're going to take your shield for your wide drop base. Slide it on. Next you're going to insert the riser tube into the wide drop base. And you're going to line up your hole. Slide your pin through and clasp it. Then you're going to slide your shield down over the wide drop base. Now you're ready to install the screws for the shield. The shorter screws are going to go into the side of the shield. The longer screws are going to go into the front of the shield. Next, 
you're ready to install your hoses. We'll do our wide drop hose first. Just gonna slide it through the undercover, down into your wide drop base, and clasp it. Then, for your undercover hose, we'll slide it down right into the undercover and clasp it on top. So then, you're going to want to zip tie your hoses. You're going to put one underneath the undercover. Put one above the undercover. One below the spring. And you can put one above the spring. And if you have the undercover facing where you want it and lined up how you want it, you can tighten it up. Then you're ready to put on the drag hoses. They just go with a natural curve towards the row. You can squirt a little penetrating oil in these, makes it a lot easier to install. Just slide them onto the Y drop. Then you're gonna to wanna to tighten up your hose clamp. Same on both sides. Now you're ready to install your 360 wide drop onto the riser mount. We're going to take our pin, we're going to raise our wide drop up into the breakaway, stick our pin through, and clasp it. We can now you're ready to run your hose accordingly to where you need it to go to your nozzle body. Once you have all your wide drops put together, you start installing them. You can install them out the rest of the boom and on your center section. Once you have all your drops on and your nozzle bodies hooked up, your 360 wide drop installation is complete.